when we were learning about the HTTP methods, we have been creating a simple routing logic in the code. In this video, let's refactor our code. The reason why we need to refactor our code is because our logic, the routing logic, is based on the combination between method and the location. Right? So if we look at the syntax here, we were using the method first and then the URL which represents location. But in actual routing in ASP.NET Core, the logic is reversed. It first try to see which location the request goes to, and then it tries to see which method should be performed against that location. So it's reversed. So let's take a look at a, a diagram here. So we have a browser and we have a server. When a request goes from the browser to the server, it first needs to be routed to the endpoint handler, right? We talk about that sequence. So let's say we have this routing mechanism. It needs to identify the request to see it goes to this particular location or it goes to the other location. But this doesn't determine the endpoint handler. It needs to use the verbs. Okay, so if the request should go to the slash employees location. Then we look at the verb, or we can call a method, to determine which endpoint handling uh, logic needs to be hit, or we can say which endpoint handler needs to be hit. Same thing with the slash positions. So we need to route the request to the slash positions location. Then we look at the verb to see which endpoint handler needs to be triggered for this particular location. Okay, let's try to implement this logic by refactoring our existing code. Let's jump back into Visual Studio, scroll up, and we see that if we collapse this, you can see that we are using our method at the first level. This is not so good because, as I mentioned over here, you could have different locations. Right? You can have employees, you can have positions, you can have departments, you can have many different locations. And to use location on the first level, more sense than using, so let's refactor the code. Let's copy this and extract that outside here. So far, we're only dealing with two locations. The first one is the root. And the second one is the employees. We didn't care about the root. When the request comes to the root, we, we didn't need to take care of whether it's a get, post, or put, and delete. We have been distinguishing that under the employees location. So we can keep the code over here. But for this, we will need to take care of checking the method. So let's copy this and paste it directly in here. Okay. So if we're hitting employees, and if it's a get method, then what are we going to do? We're going to execute this logic, right? So we can delete this part. And we need to delete this because we're already on the employees location. So let's remove this and this, and delete this line, delete this line, highlight it, and then control KF to format it. Same thing with the post. Let's delete this that and let's control kf to format it the put same thing let's refactor the code properly last but not least the delete one and then let's delete this so from this refactored code if we collapse everything if we collapse everything so we can see how many locations we have in our code we have the root to take care of we have the employees to take care of so it's a better organization of our code. We know what type of business logic we're dealing with, right? We're dealing with root. We're dealing with employees, departments. We know we're dealing with departments. If we have positions, we know we're dealing with positions. So this is better for writing the rest of the code. And let's give it a test to make sure everything still work. Let's run the code. And it is running. We're hitting our root. No problems with that and getting our default 
employees and let's go over to our postman over here the get endpoints where we run it we have the default one uh, at the at one we can add number four tom anderson and we added that let's make sure to to execute the get endpoint again making sure that tom anderson is added update employee update third one so let's say we give tom anderson a raise so we're gonna have uh, 150k for tom anderson click on send and let's try to execute the get endpoint again tom anderson number three we updated number three to tom anderson so at least we see the changes right and last but not least we try to delete number four and let's click on the send button so employees deleted let's go back to get employees click on send and we have all of three employees we know that we have updated the third one to tom anderson let's refresh we have tom anderson updated all right so that's our refactored code based on the location first and then we try to distinguish the http verbs or you can call it the http methods at the second level that's everything i want to talk about in this video if any questions please let me know if not i will see you in the next one